down amid the coral reefs south of Key Largo, home for millennia to a vast array of marine life, sits a newcomer to this place, a grumpy looking yet oddly beautiful creature, a lionfish. And for all who care passionately about the underwater ecosystem here, there's only one thing to do with it. Yep, brace yourself. A brutal, but in these parts, ever more necessary step. In the waters off South Florida, we spent a day with a team of ad hoc lionfish hunters. So you guys hear that? We're going to keep the ledge on your right shoulder. Hi, there. Marine ecologists who love ocean life, but who at the same time are dead set on catching and killing as many lionfish as they can find. Because in just the past decade, lionfish have become the scourge of the U.S. Southeast. So, spears in hand, the hunt is on. We're pretty certain that this is an issue of people dumping their unwanted pets and enough of those pets got together, just a handful, but enough of them got together, they began reproducing, and once that happened, it was all over. Indeed, native to the other side of the planet, lionfish went from U.S. home aquariums into the Atlantic. Goes the story, maybe as few as 10 of them tossed in back in the mid-80s, but man, were those 10 fertile. Skip ahead a few years, and by the 2000s, they were out of control. The red dots are new sightings. In the past decade, those sightings exploded. Nowadays, lionfish never before seen in the Atlantic are kings of the underwater jungle. They're very good at what they do, and that is eating, growing, and reproducing. And they're fearless. Those spikes are venomous. They'll kill and eat whatever fits in their mouths, and they don't stop their only known predators are human, and humans are worried. Looks like a operating table. Yeah, so it is over there. Here's some of the uh, some of the fish we're going to be looking at. You're today. touching these things, so it's it's okay now. Well, I'm being very careful as well. The spines are Back in his uh, Key Largo lab, Lad Akins gets down to business, enough. seeking clues on how to slow their population right explosion. Okay. He crunches into them looking for how and what they eat. But this is all fat. All of this white, waxy-looking substance is fat. That tells Lad it's eating more than it needs to survive, a direct threat to all the other small fish in the sea. I'm not a killer at heart, but if we don't take care of this problem, our native marine life, who is not responsible for this, are gonna be the ones that suffer, and ultimately, we're gonna suffer ourselves. But the hard part is catching them. Because they typically live in the deep, the best way is by hand. Doable, but hardly efficient. So lads put a plan in place to get more divers diving. Lionfish derbies. This one's from last summer, with prizes for the most fish caught and for the fattest. But what to do with all those weird looking creatures pulled up from the deep? Yup. Lad's written a cookbook, too, betting the real solution is if you can't beat them, eat them. At Key Largo's Conk House restaurant, lionfish are suddenly the hottest entree on the menu. Who knew tropical fish could be so tempting? But the key question is what does it taste like? Hang on. Mmm. Good. But will it catch on nationwide? At the fillet table out back, owner Ted Deaver. This is what you're looking for right there. It's a nice, nice fillet. Like the others we met, he worries lionfish are out of control. When he first started serving them, they were just appetizer size. Now? We've had some fish 18, 19 inches. And uh, this is a nice size fish, which is good for the restaurant. It makes a nice dinner. It makes a nice fillet. But unfortunately, it just shows that, you know, that they are taking over on the reef and they are voracious eaters and they're getting bigger and more plentiful. Welcome back. Thank you. And so the people of South Florida do what they can. You all right? Yeah. Good. 
on our day with Lad and his team, no one came back empty-handed. Get a couple? Yeah, we got four. Good. Maybe the fish didn't like it, but everyone else understands it's got to be done. And there's an ever-growing challenge that remains. We've only scratched the surface of control. Divers going down with spears and nets is, is not going to be the ultimate answer, but it's buying us some time. It's a lot of water, and there's a lot of lionfish out there, but it's a start. Paul Hunter, CBC News, off Key Largo, Florida.